Hey everybody, this is Rex at Watson's Marine. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple little tips, little tricks to do to some of your baits to kind of customize them a little bit. Uh, same thing with a jig. Browns, greens, orange, usually you're, you're, you're trying to uh, uh, recreate the color of a crawfish. Again, we're going to use two and a half to have tabs. Now back to our little skirt tool here I'm going to show you how this thing actually works. So this thing actually comes with like a, almost like a little bullet type end to it. Insert it in right there is what we've got. The little collars or bands got one of those we're just it's, it's got a little hole in the middle of it so we're going to put that collar on there just like that and then we're going to roll it over that little bullet onto the plastic tube. Then all you do is simply take the bullet part back out. Now we're going to hook that, pull it through just a little bit further than halfway. Take your fingers, pop that band off just like so. Pull it out, take your scissors, snip off those solid ends. Remember, you always want to, you want that collar. You don't want it to be directly in the middle. You want about a third of it below the collar and about a third, of, about two thirds of it above the collar. So once you get it on there, you got this hanging down just like so. Take your favorite jig head, stick the hook right in the middle of it, right through the hole of that that rubber band. Roll it up there. Pop it right up on your jig. And just that quickly, that simply, that easily, you've got your very own custom color of jig. And you can, after you get it on there, you can kind of trim it up a little bit, kind of even it out a little bit. But then there you go. Fully customized jig. You can use your own colors. You can add smaller pieces of different colors to give it a more of an accent. Whatever you choose to do, that's the fun of it, it's making it your own going out and catching fish on it it's what it's all about all right and you know we talked a little bit about customizing your baits and I talked about a little bit about replacing uh, those skirts off a jig or a spinner bait that have gotten old and worn another thing is and a lot of a lot of folks ask, ask me this question man how do you change these treble hooks on a crankbait I really struggle with that uh, a good pair of split ring pliers and these particular ones are made by Texas Tackle. We carry them here at the store. Absolutely, without shadow of a doubt, in my opinion, the best for the money, the best pair of split ring pliers you can you can buy. And man, I couldn't tell you, as many crankbaits as I've messed with over the years, I used to, when I was younger, I could sit down and change these by hand all day long. But as you get older, that becomes a little bit more difficult. Uh, but you, what you wanna do, if you'll look on this split ring that holds the hook to the bait, you're going to see a little seam. And where you see that seam, you want to take your split ring pliers, and it's, I know it's hard to see, but there's just a little tab that comes down from this top arm of these pliers. You want to put it right in the middle of that split ring, squeeze down, it opens that ring up, simply turn it. Just like so, split ring pops off, there you go. Then if you want to take this split ring off of this hook, same way. The same process that I just used to take it off of the bait, just repeat. You can put all new treble hooks on these baits and you, you, you for sure don't want to lose the fish because you don't have a sharp hook on there. And this is a real quick, inexpensive, easy way to change those treble hooks and keep them fresh and sharp and then to put it back on, same way. Just open that seam up, use your pliers. Pop that split ring back on there, there you go. So a real quick, easy way to always keep fresh hooks on your treble hooks, always keep 
fresh custom colors on your jigs and spinner baits. And just like I said, uh, it gives you, it may not mean a whole lot to the fish. Sometimes I truly think, think it does. But if nothing else, it'll mean something to the person throwing these baits that they'll know they can put their own little custom touch on that bait and not be throwing what everybody else out there is throwing. So hope that helps you catch some more fish. Uh, I'm sure it will. We've used all this stuff for years and years and years. Uh, the dye, uh, very inexpensive. You saw it's very easy to apply to your bait. So uh, if you have any questions about this stuff, check us out here at Watson's Marine. and uh, Me or any of the guys can show you how to customize your own baits. And who knows, maybe you'll uh, have the next uh, tournament winning bait. So come see us at Watson's Marine.